play that good, y'all, but I've been trying. Let me hit that again. That felt good. Starting all over again. It's gonna be rough and tough. So rough. But we gonna make it. Starting all over as friends. It's gonna be hard. Gonna pray to the Lord. To help us to make it. I like that, y'all. Oh, I might do a little guitar with y'all. Y'all, I am practicing the guitar. And this has been my therapy. Since I came out of therapy, I started practicing the guitar about um, three months ago. My son walked in with a guitar, and he said, Here, Mama, this is what you need. You go ahead. You play it. And I was like, What you mean I play it? He was like, You go ahead and play it. Because um, he just knew I liked, used to love guitar and keyboard. And when I started going through my issues with PTSD and anxiety and depression, I stopped doing it, all the things that I love. But somehow that boy was able to talk me into getting on the guitar again. And so um, I lost my memory on how I used to play. And I don't complain about that, about losing my memory on a lot of things. I lost my memory on people's faces and all kind of stuff. And it comes back every once in a while, depending on what scenery or environment I'm in. I may have memories of something. But losing my memory on the guitar was not a bad thing because I actually came back at least playing better, <laughs> better than what I was. You know how sometimes you just be like, you just hit notes like this. And you play on one string, and now I'm playing on like, this is actually a sixth string string acoustic guitar and I'm hitting every string so you know gospel you know so I'm hitting all strings now I'm not just and I play by ear and and I do some lessons I do look at lessons on YouTube I love looking at YouTube videos um they're so inspiring. Y'all keep giving those YouTube videos because they help a lot of people like me who just don't want to really go and take lessons or maybe don't, you know, maybe be don't have the finances to do it right then but truly love the art of it. So y'all keep doing y'all YouTube things. Um, I wrote this song. Um, this song was a love song that I had uh, wrote. A country love song. It's a country love song. And I don't know why I wrote it. It just came in my mind one day. I was sitting here playing. And it was called, I Don't Want to Fall in Love. I'm going to just play just a little bit of it. Now, y'all, I may mess up because I'm not good, good. I'm I'm in my beginning stages of learning. Believe me, this is a beginner. <laughs> okay. If I can remember the words, what are they? Sorry. I I gotta get the key of my voice right, y'all. <laughs> I don't. Mm, I don't wanna fall again. trying to remember how it go y'all <laughs> I don't want to fall again think we're better off as friends but when I look in your eyes I'm falling again I don't want to fall in
making us. Uh, I'm telling you, God gives us gifts within, and we have to work and keep working at them until we get it right. And sometimes we get distracted by these little relationships and stuff, and like um, friendships and all that can be a distraction to what God has really given us. And like for me, a lot of things I used to love to do, I stopped doing it because of the people I met, the people I was around. They didn't like what I wanted to do anyway. And so, therefore, to fit in, I had to stop doing what I was doing because at that time, I didn't understand that I am my own person. I can make my own decisions. I am more than a conqueror. Instead, I was trying to buy friends and all that stuff. And, and you know, that's why I'm glad that God intervened on me and said, stop being a busybody and start doing the work that will feed you, that will feed you, that will give you life. You know, I was like, what? Oh, do things that will give you life, and messing with this guitar gives me life. Um, I was playing a song last night. like that too because y'all know back in the days we used to hear those beats and we start dancing and moving around and stuff and having a good old time so y'all you see what i'm saying <laughs> there are things inside of you that you have not yet tapped into and if you stay the course with god you will get all of those things and those relationships that we seek and stuff they will come they will come but meanwhile we need to um, continue to put God first in all this. probably saw those words all jacked up and wrong but she's a great blues um artist i like to hear and let's see my church stuff goes uh this song really blessed me too and y'all my voice is not the best right now um i'm going through some allergies i was supposed to took my allergy medication a while ago okay here it go um, this is a song that we go singing at church sometimes. You don't have to wear every and you don't have to cry no more. Wipe the tears off of your weary eyes. It's gonna be Let me say it one more. 
not how it really goes but i just love doing stuff and so if i'm making a joyful noise and i'm enjoying it so what if i'm not planning according to what others want it to be okay let me see what's another song um as well and when I'm by myself y'all I really have a ball I can have a ball whether I'm with people or by myself that's one thing that I've learned to do within the last five years was get to know me and so knowing me I like just doing um things like I'm doing now guitar writing singing and you know I haven't always had a voice that's that's something that people don't know is that my voice was gone for me for years because of a bleeding blood vessel um, in my stomach and my voice was always hoarse and raspy because of that bleeding blood vessel that could have took my life, you know, but God kept me. So I continue to make a joyful noise. I was trying to think of any other songs that I might want to hit. granddaughter say that when we really feel bad one of us will burst out saying that we will burst out 